Hey everyone, this is Patrick from IncubatorWarehouse.com with a quick how-to video for the fan kit installation on the Hobobator 1602N Still Air Incubator. This video is going to cover everything you'll experience as a customer who has just purchased this product. Your fan kit's going to include all the parts you need for a successful install. The items included are the fan with pre-attached wires, two blue electrical T-tap connectors, one mounting screw, one plastic washer, one zip tie, and one set of installation instructions. The tools needed for the fan kit installation are a Phillips head screwdriver, pliers, and wire snips. With these tools, installation will be a breeze. When you receive your incubator, the lid will look like this. This is how it comes from the factory as a still air unit. Notice the wire bundle that is neatly zip tied? This will be our main area of focus. First thing you're going to want to do is use the wire snips to cut the zip tie off of the wire bundle. Make sure to be careful as you don't want to accidentally cut into the wires. Here's the wire bundle with the zip tie removed and the wire spread out. The wires we'll be working with are these that come from the metal plate. They're the main power supply wires. One is solid black and the other is black with a white stripe. They are also noticeably thicker than the other wires. Now it's time to connect the blue T-tap connectors to the main power wires. The easiest way to do this is to put them in place by hand. Once you have them where you want them, you can use your pliers to clamp them shut. This step can be the trickiest part of the install if you're not careful when lining up the T-taps. They will cut into the wires to provide power to your fan kit, so you want to get this right the first time. Now that your wiring is mostly complete, it's time to attach the fan to the lid of the incubator. First, you'll want to remove the backing from the adhesive tape. Next, line up the fan using the rivets and existing holes in the lid. Now, lay your fan down, making sure to line the holes up the best you can. While holding the fan with one hand, turn your lid over and place the mounting screw with washer in the center hole. Start it by hand to ensure it doesn't cross thread and then gently snug it in place with your screwdriver. You can now attach the wires from your fan kit to the connectors on the power cord. We find it best to wrap the excess wires around the fan and then carefully attach the fan wires to the blue T-tap connectors. It's important to make sure that you have the metal prong on the fan wire connector fully inserted into the center of the blue T-tap connector. Now, you can rebundle the wires back up and secure them using the provided zip tie. After you've done this, please plug your incubator in. Your fan kit should fire right up. All right, you've now successfully turned your still air incubator into a circulated air incubator. If for some reason you have any issues with this install, you can always contact customer service. Our email is service at incubatorwarehouse.com or just give us a call at 1208-740-1344. Thanks for watching another Incubator Warehouse install video.